The Rich Man and Lazarus from Luke chapter 16. Jesus was teaching. He was teaching about how heaven and hell works. And he told this story. It's not really a parable. Jesus didn't call it a parable and he used real names. So this may be a real story, but Jesus uses it to teach us. He said, there was a rich man dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. In those days, the most expensive dye was purple. So it meant you were very, very rich, like a king. And according to that story that Jesus was telling, there was a man outside that sat by his house every day, a beggar named Lazarus. He was someone who had physical problems and dogs, these wild dogs would come and lick his sores. Not necessarily a good thing. And that rich man would walk by him every day. These dogs came and bothered him. And finally, the the beggar Lazarus died. And angels came and they took the beggar Lazarus to heaven. They took him to heaven and it's called Abraham's side because that's where God's people are. And so the, the beggar went to heaven. But Jesus continued the story and that rich man he who walked by the beggar and didn't help him every day, he died and he went to hell. He died an unbeliever, not connected to God. And Jesus said that in hell, the rich man could look and he could see into heaven and know that he wasn't there. And so he said, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Uh, why, why don't you just send Lazarus? He can, he can dip like his finger in a little bit of water and then he can come over here. He was just in, in agony in this fire, he said. He just, he just, he just needed that. He was uh, in deprivation. He didn't have... He didn't have the water he needed. He was in this fire. And he just wanted a little relief, but he wouldn't get any. Abraham replied, Son, remember that you received good things in your life, while Lazarus received bad, and there is a chasm between us. So no one can cross from, from hell into heaven, and no one can go there. It's not the way it works. Well, the rich man said, Well, if you can't do that, if you can't give me any relief, then send Lazarus back from the dead to my family of five brothers to warn them. But Abraham said, that's not how it works. Even if they have someone rise from the dead, they're not going to listen. They have, they have Moses and the prophets. They have the Bible. Let them listen to that word of God. That will convince them. And, and the rich man said, no, but if someone from the dead comes, they will repent. Really, if, if there's a big flashy miracle and this beggar that they saw comes back, they will and Abraham said, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not listen, even if someone rises from the dead. And that is Jesus' story, the rich man and Lazarus, showing that when we die without being connected to God, we suffer in hell. And the only one who gives us relief from that is Jesus, who died on the cross and rose again, so that by faith, we sinners get to go to heaven and we don't suffer that deprivation. Jesus on the cross suffered that the fires of hell so we never will.